Ooh, look what I found. Is that what I think it is? Is that uranium? And that is... Ooh, diamonds. Yeah! Hey everyone, and welcome back to a brand new survival series. I actually did not come up with a name for this series, maybe by the time I post this on YouTube I'll have a title, but if you think of a cool name for this series, let me know in the comments. This is going to be a technology themed mod pack with a bunch of fun mods, so let me highlight some of them real quick. Industrial Foregoing, this is like a replacement for Mine Factory Reloaded. Let's see, Applied Energistics 2. This is for item storage. And Mechan Sim. this is a brand new tech mod that I have not played before. So that'll take some learning. And then we have Minecraft Transit Railway, of course. And we have Nemo Transit Expansion. And Ad Astra, this is a space mod that's kind of like Galacticraft. All right, so let's get started. I've created a local server just for this. Okay, we're in. I generated this world actually a little bit ago. Because I wanted to pick a good world that has some interesting biomes and a good spawn. Because a lot of the spawns that I spawned in was like in the middle of the ocean. And that wasn't ideal for playing survival. So here we are in a beautiful desert. I mean, well, like a winter wasteland. Sometimes I wonder if I made the right choice or not, but I saw these beautiful cherry blossoms and I thought, let's just do it. So we're gonna actually start off by getting cherry wood. I've never played survival Minecraft in 1.20 before. Actually, I have, but like never spawn in a cherry blossom biome. So this is going to be really interesting. I also like to turn on item hitboxes so that when I drop stuff on the ground it'll be easier to easier to look at. I guess this is entity hitboxes in general so mobs and everything will show that as well. What is this lag? Is the game crashing? No. <sighs> I was a bit scared for a second but wow this is really pretty. Okay let's make a crafting table and let's get everything started up. So what we need first with all survival worlds is you're gonna need a wooden wooden pickaxe. That's how you get started everywhere. And I saw this little hole right here and I think I can just get started by grabbing some stone here first. I'm not gonna go too deep into the cave. Oh this is not even a cave, this is just a little hole in the ground. But I just need a few pieces of cobblestone and I can make myself a stone pickaxe because I can really cannot stand the speed of a wooden pickaxe. The nice thing about the new Minecraft updates that wasn't available before was that leaves can drop sticks as well. That's a really nice addition. Oh, I have enough cobblestone. Might as well make an axe. When did you guys start playing Minecraft? Let me know in the comments below. I started Minecraft basically when Classic was out, I think, back in 2010 or something. I don't remember. I just remember in 8th grade trying to play Minecraft on the school computers when the teachers weren't looking. Those were good times. <laughs> and yeah, I remember playing Minecraft in the browser when the Java plugin was still a thing for Google Chrome and other browsers, the Java web plugin, and then you can launch Minecraft straight from there. There wasn't survival mode or anything, and you can't even fly, but it was creative mode. So, okay, what we need now is more cobblestone so that we can make a furnace because that would be really important to getting charcoal, things like that, and charcoal can be used to make torches. And this is a kind of a dark spot, so I would want to light this up as soon as I can. Light up the area around spawn as well. I think I'm going to mainly develop around spawn, the spawn area. That's why I kind of chose to start 
in the nice nicer world just generate worlds until i like them there's copper here too which will come in handy you might as well just dig it right now yeah you never know when you need stuff especially in modded minecraft uh i guess i'll make two chests so that i can store a bit more stuff so the main storage system will be using the applied energistics mod if you haven't played with that before I guess just watch the videos, watch me do it. Okay, here is my furnace and I will put... Actually, what I usually like to do first is to use my wooden pickaxe to smelt the wood first. And then once I got my first piece of charcoal, I will continue smelting stuff in multiples of eight. This is because one charcoal smelts eight items. I just like to do things more efficiently like that. All right, meanwhile, I'll go chop one more tree that should be enough for us to get started a little bit oops i wasted my axe on the leaves that happens sometimes the nice thing about these cherry trees is that the branches don't go too tall like some really big oak trees you can't just reach the wood at the top you have to like pillar up and like climb into the leaves try to figure out where the branches are and that's really annoying so i also intentionally did not install a tree chopping mod oh look there's a beehive over there nice and i really like these particles look how beautiful this is oh there's more wood up here i think but yeah i intentionally did not install a tree chopping mod so that would incentivize myself to hurry up and make the machines because there are machines in this mod, if you've played with Industrial Foregoing, which is Mine Factory Reloaded, you would know that there are ways to automate cutting of trees so that your life will be much easier. Okay, I'm going to smelt 16 more logs. Wow, so many saplings. I wonder what I can do with these. Other than plant them, of course, but... What other cool things I can do with the saplings? Maybe like recycle them? Bioreactor. Making biofuel. What is this? Mycelial generator. And a crusher. Okay, so I think Mechansim will be the mod that I will focus on first because that deals with ore processing. Which means the stuff I get will be multiplied if possible. Actually, the next task that we have to do is to get more food because, well, my hunger is going to go down soon. And this is kind of like a barren wasteland, so I need to get stuff as soon as possible. I'm kind of thinking if I did not choose a really good world for this. Osmium ore, this might be useful. Yeah, a world without water nearby might be kind of hard to play, but we'll see how this goes. I am hopeful that this wouldn't be as bad as I am thinking. We Oh, the sun is going to set pretty soon. I need to make a bed or just hide out and start mining. I think that's going to be my plan. I don't think... If I don't find sheep, I'm not going to make it in time to like make a shelter for the night. So I might as well just like hide in that cave that we saw earlier. Dripstone block. Hmm. Coal. Yeah, sure. Let's grab that. In the beginning, it's all about resource collection, especially for these tech mods. It's all about getting all the stuff. And wow, this is a big coal vein. It's going to be a long time to dig. Don't know what I'll do when I actually go mining, if I'm going to cut the video. Or if I'm just gonna fast forward it, or I'm gonna talk through it, I don't know. Because it's t mining is kind of time consuming, so. Alright, we finally finished digging through that copper vein. Now we need to get out. Hmm. It's kind of a deep hole I've dug for myself down here. Alright, good enough. Let's hurry up and get food. And then we can keep going one nice thing oh wow there's a lot of coal here as well one nice thing about the new minecraft updates is that you can find fish in the water 
without needing a fishing rod. So what I like to do, I just go here, hit some salmon, and you'll get food. Don't even need to go fishing, don't even need to go hunting for mobs or like animals like cows and pigs and sheep. But you can just basically hit these fish. They're one hit if I can actually aim properly. There we go. How many do we have so far? The only danger really is drowning. Like if you're not aware of how many bubbles you have left, you can drown pretty easily. And with the new Minecraft updates, there's actually a cooldown for the bubbles. So you can't just like take one second of air and expect to be okay again. Okay, now I am losing bubbles. I need to get back to the surface. Yeah, so once I got back to the surface, my bubbles don't immediately get back to full. They take time to regenerate. So that's also a, the tricky part about swimming like this. Okay, I just need one more fish. Oh, I think I left a fish there. I just need eight fish, then I can smelt stuff in multiples of eight. Alright, the sun is setting and I'm a little bit scared now. I need to hurry up and get back to my base because I don't want to deal with mobs right now. Well, I, not really much of a base, but whatever I have there. Are there any sheep here? I'm just gonna look real quick. If there are no sheep, it looks like it's just cows. Alright, just cows. Wow, this forest is really nice right here. Alright, no cows, I mean no sheep, so I'm gonna hurry back. Oh, I can't even run. <laughs> My hunger is so low. And I don't want to eat the raw fish yet because I can... I can make cooked fish and they will regen much more. I just hope I don't get hit by any mobs right now while I'm going back. Come on. I'm like running so slow. Come on, come on. Oh, there's mobs already. Kind of scared. And I don't have armor. Is it worth it to just eat a piece? I don't know. Let's just try to make it back. Come on. Wait, am I even close? Oh yeah, the ice spikes are over there. Oh, is that a spider? Sometimes spiders are worth it to kill because they can give you string, which you can make wool with it. And then with the wool... Oh no, I don't want the skeleton to see me. I think something saw me. Yeah, zombie. I hate baby zombies, so I really hope I don't run into one. If I run into one, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Okay, zombies are like the easiest to kill. And I think there's a baby zombie over there. I really hope it doesn't see me. And that skeleton as well, I hate skeletons. Okay, I got some food. I can at least sprint now. Alright, that's a relief. Okay, with the charcoal that I have, I think I'm gonna make some torches first. Um, let me see. The best place to hide out right now is actually in that hole. So, maybe I should just go in there and like block myself in just for the night. I'm going to make like a door and quickly run it. Oh, there's a creeper in here. Hmm. I want I was thinking of adding a mod that disables creeper explosion. So maybe I'll do that in the next episode because I don't want to just quit the game right now. Okay. Creepers are not too bad to kill, but skeletons and baby zombies are the worst. Let me know which mobs you hate in the in the comments because I'm also curious what you guys think. Okay, I'm gonna light this up. Light up this area a little bit. Oh, spider. Spiders give wool, I mean string, which can be made into wool. Yeah, I really don't want creepers exploding all over the place because that's going to mess up the terrain. <laughs> and I want my terrain to look nice. All right. Okay, good, my salmon finished smelting. 
And I'm going to take everything with me and go into the hole. I think I'm gonna settle in there, at least for now. Uh-oh, something saw me. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, I'm gonna use this granite granite to block it off. I'll make something nicer later, but... Okay, this will do for now. Whew. Okay. Hopefully we can survive the night like this. I will definitely redecorate this area, but we are safe. We are safe for now. Alright, let me set up my chest and everything again. Put down all... Oh, I need the furnace and the crafting. Yeah, this isn't the best base, but it's gonna do for the night. And I'm not going to go to sleep, so I'm just gonna start mining, I guess. Okay, so... I guess just straight through here is okay. So I usually like to go five blocks forward. So... Like that. That's five blocks, right? One, two, three, four, five. Yep, and then five blocks below, and then one, two, three, four, five. Okay, yeah, that's five blocks. And I like to hold my torches in my offhand. You can get to your offhand, like put a stack in your offhand by pressing F. That's a hot key to switch whatever you're holding and put it in your offhand. Okay, so this is going to be a long process. I'm going to attempt to go down to y equals negative 64. I think that's the lower world limit now. I remember the good old days before the new generation updates. I think that's like the Caves and Cliffs 1.17 or 18. Before they increased the world limit, you would just go down to y equals 0. Actually, y equals 11 was like apparently the ideal spot to mine diamonds because Below a certain point, I think Y16 or something, that's where you can find diamonds. And the generation, like the probability doesn't increase the lower you go. So all the way from, oh, I ran up. All the way from Y0 to 16, you would get a consistent amount of diamonds. So, but now it's all different. I might actually need to pull up the chart later to just check that. I am digging at the right levels. So I'm just gonna make a bunch of pickaxes because I know I'm gonna go through them really quickly. I probably should just use all this charcoal to make torches anyway because I'm also going to run out pretty soon. Okay, I also like to bring some wood with me because you never know when you need to craft stuff. Alright, let's continue digging. Oh, I was digging right there, and I suddenly fell into a cave. Let me try to go back up first, because I need to light up this area. Uh, I'll just put the torch here. Oh, it doesn't stack. Okay, so apparently... Using caves is like one of the best methods to mine in the new versions of Minecraft. I didn't really understand why until I did it for myself because I used to just do strip mining, which is when you just go down. Ooh, oh, that scared me. Yeah, if you didn't know, axes deal more damage than swords. That's why sometimes I do that. But it takes more, it uses up more durability, so... It's kind of a trade-off. Alright. Yeah, I used to just do strip mining where I'll just dig in a straight line. Because the cave generation wasn't as crazy back in the older versions of Minecraft. So that's what I would do. I would just dig down to Y11 and all the ores were there. So in the new generation, some levels you actually don't get stuff you need. Like if you go too deep, you're not going to see much iron. Or if you go... Yeah, you're not going to see like coal, and there's some levels where you won't get copper anymore. I think I should pull up the generation graph soon so that I just don't go blindly digging. But I mean, stuff like copper, you're never going to have too little of, or too much of. 
it's always going to be useful. Hmm, I found something. Tin. Tin is going to be really useful. Tin and copper and iron are like the top three resources for most tech mods. Just from experience. Have any of you heard of TechIt? Or the Technic Launcher? That was like the first mod pack that got me hooked into Minecraft. Like, Minecraft modded. So it included stuff like Buildcraft, Industrial Craft, what else? Mine Factory Reloaded, Thermal Expansions, those are like still my favorite mods. It's just that some of them don't update to the latest version, which is unfortunate. But luckily we've been able to find some alternatives for this mod pack. And I do like, I do prioritize playing the most recent versions of Minecraft rather than getting all the mods I like because usually you can find pretty good alternatives and modern Minecraft is just better to play in in my opinion. Oh, looks like another dead end to the cave. One thing that I do when I place torches is I always place it on the right side when going into a cave. So when I'm going back out, I can just look for torches on my left and know that that's going to lead to the exit. That's like a Minecraft life hack for you. So that you won't get lost in caves. It works every time. Unless there are like circles, I guess. If the cave system connects in a circle, then it might be a little confusing. But yeah, for the most part, I don't get lost. I don't want to bother getting too much of the coal. It's just a waste of time. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's also tin. Sometimes I like to dig around a little bit. Yeah, like veins can spawn weirdly behind blocks, so you just have to dig around a little bit to see if you missed anything. Oh, I almost missed this piece, because the tin looks so much like the diorite. Okay, let's see if there's any more behind this. Yes, there is. Sometimes it's worth it to just dig around a little bit. Although it's a waste of time, usually. <laughs> okay, let's keep going into here. I lit up a bit of this part. Tin... Iron is usually the... the hardest to get. For some reason, I have no idea why. Maybe it's because it conflicts with the existing ore generation. I mean, the modded ore generation. We have a bunch of glow lichen here, and I have... I don't really know what it's used for. My... Hunger is going down. Okay. Okay. This looks like a dead end to me, so... That's the end of this cave, I guess. I didn't expect to finish going through that cave so quickly. Usually caves in like 1.18 and above are like much bigger, but alright, I'm not complaining. Guess I'll get this copper. And I think I have like, wow, I have two stacks already. Okay, this is where we came from. Oh, more copper. Might as well, might as well. You really never know when you're gonna need it. Like, I'm really not trying to be hoarding, but in modded Minecraft, as I said, copper, tin, and iron. That's what you need. Okay. Yeah, sometimes I think glow lichen looks like ores, but they're actually not. They are just glow lichen. All right. Let's get back to digging. So I'm going to do my stair thing again. I guess I don't really mind if I close off that cave, because I don't anticipate myself going back down again. There's like nothing much to grab anyway. Uh, whoop. Need to keep my stairway consistent here. And down one block. I guess eventually we'll reveal this cave anyway. 
It's okay though, because it's lit up well enough that I don't think mobs will really spawn anymore. Okay, so one block here, one block here. Yeah, it's nice to have a consistent stairway and then later I'll make a bunch of cobblestone stairs to get back to the surface. Because in especially in modern Minecraft, it's really important to have a good mineshaft access because you're going to find yourself digging down all the time. Not digging straight down, I mean just like going into the mines a lot. Just because you're always going to run out of resources as you craft stuff. Alright, I'm going to keep going. Ooh, a new ore. Actually, I got some osmium earlier too. I wonder what it's used for. The mod, not enough items, or too many items. I think too many items was the very first mod that was like a recipe checker and it's like allows you to hack stuff in back in like 1.1 or 1.2 of Minecraft. I remember 1.2.5 is when I played with the Tekkit mod pack. And too many items was like always in the mod pack. Or like even if you're playing vanilla, you would install it anyway. Because you can like hack in items. Back then there was no commands, so there's no slash give to cheat. So you would have to use... Oh, there's also a mod called single player commands, I think. SP commands, I think. Wow, what a throwback. Comment if you know what that mod is. SP commands. Or like too many IOs. But anyway, now it's evolved a lot and we have different authors taking up the mod. We have variations like not enough items, roughly enough items, just enough items. Like how am I supposed to keep track? But the one I'm using right now is JEI just enough items. So I was gonna say what does osmium do? So of course it makes an osmium block. Makes the ingot. Liquid meat. Wait. Oh, plus. So washing factory, you need the osmium plus the liquid meat. Makes raw raw or meat osmium dust. Interesting. Okay, this makes dirty osmium slurry. These are just ways to like Increase the yield of an ore. Wow, you can make an ore out of osmium? Or like, out of like the raw stuff? You can make the ore. A strong mineral that can be found at nearly any height in the world. Many uses in machinery. Good to know. Okay. Looks like we'll need a lot of that then. Enrichment chamber. Okay, making dust and stuff. Hmm. Cool. Yeah. Looks like it's used in a ton of places. You can even make rails too. Oh, you can make tools. Tools with it. Alright, anyway. Let's keep going. Because we don't have very much stuff yet. Oh, I hit some redstone. Nice. But I also don't have an iron pickaxe right now. So. Hmm. I only have three iron. Should I just use it? I guess I have to, yeah? Yeah, I have to make an iron pickaxe eventually. Okay, let's, let's just do that. So I forgot to bring my crafting table, but I guess that one can stay at home. Oh, I missed this piece. Can't believe I didn't see it. Is it really a single tin? No, okay. You always have to dig more. Right. I feel like there's more, but I am i don't really want to dig for more, so we'll call it good. Okay, what am I going to do with the crafting? I was going to make a furnace so that I could smelt some iron. Hmm, it's not in a multiple of eight. And I don't really want to make sticks. I guess I'll just sacrifice one. It's okay. <laughs> Maybe with the remaining fuel time, I can smelt some of the copper as well. That would be good. 
And meanwhile, I'm going to craft a bunch of stairs so that I can get back up to the surface easier. Oh, I'm bad at crafting, as you can clearly tell. Okay, that should be enough stairs for now. Alright, I'm going to use the remaining fire just to smell as many copper as we can. And so this is how I place my stairs. And because we've done a 5 block clearance, we shouldn't hit our heads when we run up and down the stairs. Which is good. We don't want to hit our heads. Okay, sticks. And iron pick. Isn't it iron pick? I never understood what that meant. Or like, if there's supposed to be a pun with that. Isn't it iron pick? More redstone, come on. Nope, okay. Let me just grab... Oh, this one couldn't finish. Oh, I could have put one stick in just to make it finish, but it's okay. And... Yep. Got everything. Now we can continue going. One, two, three, four, and five. Let's get down deeper. Oh wow, we're a deep slate already. Yes, finally some iron. Thank you. The thing about deep slate is that the block hardness is a bit harder, so it's gonna take longer to break each block. Wow, that's a lot of iron. I'm happy. Yeah, iron is a really needed resource. I hope not too needed. Because it's annoying when you always need more iron. Lapis as well. Not bad. Did you know lapis can be broken with a stone pick? I actually knew that for a long time, but some people don't know that. Because it's like a valuable ore, but actually it can be mined. Ooh, a cave. Alright, let's see. One... Two, three, four, five. I'll put down a torch like so. It's like a mushroomy cave. What is that? Is that also tin? Yeah, this is tin. I am quite optimistic about this cave that there's going to be good stuff in here. It's just really dark and I'm a little bit scared. Because you never know what's going to jump out at you. I'm also not playing with sound. Which makes it a little more scary. Like, stuff can just jump out from behind me. Also, the cat is like moving around in the back. So I'm like getting jumpy by every little bit of sound. Okay. Got some tin. I'm going to have to rely on the subtitles here to see if there's any mobs nearby. Okay, nothing so far. Oh. Do you guys like caving like this? I don't prefer it, but you usually get better stuff. And again, I'm trying to put torches on the right walls. Otherwise, I'm putting it on the ground. Oh, some osmium. Hmm. According to the to the tooltip, seems like we are going to need a lot of this stuff. So, okay, I'm gonna hide in this little corner and take a look. Well, there's nothing to look at, I guess. I want to see what level tin is found in. Oh, there's no tooltip for this. What about the ore itself? Tin ore. A lightweight yet sturdy conductive material. I... Sometimes the just enough resources plugin doesn't really work well for me. Like it's supposed to show me like what... What levels are the best for mining certain ores, but it doesn't always work. I don't know why. Okay, this looks really scary. 
Oh, iron. I need that. Wow. What is this cave? Like, the shape is just so weird. Okay, I'm gonna get this iron and get out of here. Because I don't want to stay here. This is scary. Do you guys get scared easily when caving like this? Hmm. At least we have iron. That's what I'm happy about. And if a creeper falls in this hole, I'm dead. Just saying. But I don't want that to be true. Okay. Okay. We're good, we're good. Let's get out of here. Alright. Where is my entrance? I think it's over there. I just want to check this part real quick. Also, if you're in water, like, better stuff might spawn. Oh, this is just a, like, a water pillar. So maybe not. Alright. Let's go... This way? Yeah. This is where our cave is. Two, three, four, and... Five. Oh, look at that. I'm just mining here, and there's a non deep slate osmium ore. I wonder how that got generated. Hmm. Well, there's more, so that's a good thing. Three, four, and five. Oh, this is gravel. I don't like gravel when mining, because they just fall. And it's annoying. This is still scary. We didn't go up there yet, did we? Let's do it. Oh, mobs can fall on me any second. Anything? Oh, we visited this. That's good, okay. I feel a little better because we lit up that area. Okay, um... Yeah, let's continue getting this osmium, and then we'll continue digging down. I hope I can get, like, good stuff this, this trip. Ooh, what is that? Deep slate fluorite ore. Wow. It's advancement made, first steps. What does that mean? Is that like the first thing you need for making anything? Wow. Why did I get that advancement? What is... I don't know. Sometimes they don't appear in the chat, so you can't hover over them to see what it means. Hmm. And this vein is pretty big too. Wow. This ore texture looks really pretty. I played another tech mod before this, like when I was testing out mods to use, and I used a mod called Industrial Revolution. It's for fabric and it's also a standalone tech mod. It was fun, but I feel like sometimes it felt a little buggy, and the textures of the ores were all the same. So I appreciate this mod making all the textures unique, and putting some time to design the textures as well. Not that the textures in the other mod was bad, but it was just less different between the different colors. And like deep slate lead ore, you can barely see that it's an ore, it just looks like normal deep slate. Oh, what is that? Black block. Is it a lighting glitch? Oh, yeah. I thought I <laughs> was seeing like a cave or something. Alright, I like tough because it's not tough, <laughs> like T-O-U-G-H. It's not hard, hardness is low, but it's easy to dig, that's why I like it. Although it can mess up like some, some ores that were supposed to be generated at that location, if tough generates there as well, it can wipe out the ores that were supposed to generate there. So that's also unfortunate. Same as like dirt, granite, diorite, those blobs, gravel I guess, so 
yeah, it's kind of kind of unfortunate that they override ore generation like that. Well, as I'm digging, I just noticed my inventory is like full, so I won't be able to get anything new. So I think now's a good time to kind of go up and and sort out our inventory, see what stuff we can make. Is there a guidebook for this mod? Because I don't know how to get started. I guess make a generator, like with all tech mods out there. You start with making a generator and then you make your first machine, which is usually a pulverizer or some sort of macerator or something, where you can crush the, the raw ores that you get to double it. Maybe 1.5 times, or not always doubling. But when you start, you start with those machines because the more you go mining, the more you can multiply your ores, which is fun. So that's that's the first thing that we'll probably do, but the first step, of course, is to get back up to the surface. Wow, such a long way to go. We've gone so far. Oh, I placed that extra stairs, but we're back. If this was in real life, like a 45 degree stairway all the way down as far as the eye can see, I would be scared. But <laughs> this is not scary in Minecraft. Is it daytime? Wow, it's daytime. But I don't want to go out. There's no point to go going out right now. We're safe down here. Okay, what should we do? Let's see, I'm gonna put away all these like random mined blocks. Uh, I want the stairs. And then I'll keep some of these valuables. And yeah. So if I do at MechanSim, it's going to bring up all the blocks relating to it. Recipe type smelting, enriching, crushing, compressing. Okay, so those are like the basic operations. Smelting, enriching, crushing. So I assume we want to make some sort of crushing thing first. But we need this infuser to make this control circuit. So anyway, we need to make a generator first of all. What kind of generation is available for us? Is there even a guidebook? Huh. Because that's usually where I start with a new mod like this. There's like a guidebook. Wow. That looks really cool. Oh, there's a mechanism generator section. Heat generator, solar generator, bio generator, gas burning. This is probably the really basic one that we want. Electrolytic core infused alloy. Oh, we need this though. We need the infuser. Hmm. Is there a book? Nope, no book for this mod. Guide. That's the Applied Energistics Guide. Okay, I'll be right back. Gonna look at the wiki. Alright. MechanSim is an independent tech mod. Yep, so download it. It looks fun. Okay, collect plenty of osmium ore, which can be mined with stone, grade tools, and above. We got a bunch of that. Okay, if we have a grindstone from Applied Energistics, we can grind it into dust and smelt it effectively doubling. Wow. Can I afford a grindstone right now? Well, this is only the vanilla version. Wait, where's my... oh, here. Osmium, I don't actually don't have a lot of it. And grindstone's not one of these. Alright, let's keep reading. So, smelt it, and it's a heat generator. Yep. I... We need to make the met metallurgic metallurgic infuser before creating the wires. Need to okay. So can we make a heat generator before we make the infuser? Why is this recipe so much cheaper than what we see here? Heat infuse. Oh, what was it called? Oh no, 
heat something. I mixed up the two. Which one is it? Heat generator. Right. Copper, osmium, iron, and planks. All right, simple enough. Copper. Okay, I'm just gonna do single item smelting here because I don't wanna waste my stuff. Actually, might as well just, yeah, just do that for now. So we're gonna get our first osmium ingot, yay. And then put the iron in quickly. We need some iron, yeah? Three iron, two copper, we already have four copper, which is good. Okay, I'm just gonna let this run then, because we'll probably need more iron later anyway. And we'll probably need more osmium later, so I probably shouldn't have taken that out of the furnace. But that's okay. Heat generator. We need a furnace. I have one already here. Okay, we just need one more iron ingot. There we go. And, oh. There's this handy button called Move Items, which will snap everything into the crafting table, and there we go! Your first generator. Craft a heat generator to start making power. I'll just put it on this wall, just so that... Wow, the block model looks amazing, compared to other tech mods I've played. This is, wow, really nice. I only have three charcoal left. That means I need to chop some trees. Kinda don't want to use my coal, just, it's like a Galacticraft habit. Is it nighttime? Yeah, don't want to go harvest trees right now, but it's a Galacticraft habit because... Oh, where did my coal go? Okay. I just wasted it, I guess. Or maybe is it stored here? Okay. Anyway. It's a Galacticraft habit that I save all my coal because some recipes in Galacticraft require coal and not charcoal. So what's next? I guess a pulverizer. That's not a thing here. Wow. Heat energy to power. Only provides is only that does not require steel. Okay can generate in a passive mode also. So active power is like burning stuff, which when I put in the charcoal, it burned it. Okay, and passive power, you can just put it next to a lava source or flowing lava. For each side that is next to lava, wow! Maximum of 500, whereas if we just use charcoal and stuff, it'll give 100. Okay. Cool, okay, what's next? Heat generator, and then we will need the infuser. What about, like, crusher? Oh, we need the infused alloy, which is the basis of everything. So we have to make the infuser. Yeah? Hope this is not that expensive. Okay, four iron, one osmium, two furnaces, and redstone. Okay, we got all of that. Nice. Okay, so we need one more iron, one more osmium. You know, I might as well just... Just... Uh... I don't want to. What can this do? Hmm. Wow, infusing factory. This can infuse stuff. <laughs> Very helpful. Okay. Okay. So it can't crush stuff into dust anyway. So I think Eventually, we're gonna have to, like, use everything we've got anyway. So I might as well just use my charcoal. It's not the end of the world if I use my charcoal. Might as well get a bunch of osmium and stuff. Uh, it's still nighttime. I want to get more wood so that I can make more charcoal. Because I don't want to use my coal. Okay, 
how much heat do we have in here? Okay, so at least the energy doesn't disappear if I don't use it. Okay, so we've got some of that, some of that. Can we craft it? Nope, we need the two furnaces, which is pretty easy to do. I might as well make like... Okay. <sighs> two, okay. Oops. There we go. A metaller what? A me metallurgic infuser. So I assume this needs electricity, so I'm going to put it next to the heat generator. Is this where the heat or the electricity comes out though? Which means we have to rotate it. Because this is not getting any energy. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I remember in industrial craft, you can't just break machines with a pickaxe. Oh, the energy transferred over here. So now I can't leave the house, but I can use the machine. <laughs> Great. Now, what was it? Crusher? Crusher is one of the basic machines. Basic crushing factory. Let's see what the recipes are. So that's the one that converts the... Like the raw stuff to... Let's see. It's the one that converts raw stuff to like the powder, right? Which one's the crusher? Come on. Blasting, smelting, washing factory. Combiner, smelter, chamber. Wait a second. Okay, so it's telling me that I need steel ingots to continue making like universal cables and all that stuff. Some solar... Okay. Create infused alloy, which is the basis of all the machines. And then make steel casings. Enrichment chamber. I'm just going to open all of these to see what they're used for. So, we need to make some of this with the infuser. Infuser. Yeah, okay. And then the... This one used to extract dust out of certain blocks and ores. So I guess this is the first thing that we want to make. So that we can... Yeah, this is the pulverizer equivalent. So we need this enrichment chamber. That's like the most important thing we need to make first. This is basically an alternative furnace. I don't really care about making that first. The sawmill is for wood. And the crusher makes biofuel. Okay, so the most important one looks like is the enrichment chamber, and I will show you why in a second. If you don't know what a pulverizer is from other tech mods out there, it's for making dust. Let's see, is it daytime yet? Come on. Okay, nice. I'm gonna chop some trees. Oh, why is this? single tree that I haven't chopped down yet. Okay, so after I chop this tree down, I should have more charcoal to power my machines. And then after that, I can... Yeah, make some steel. I know there's a shortcut to making steel using the Ad Astra mod. Is that cheating? I don't know. But it's definitely easier. Wow, it's snowing as well. Beautiful. In Seattle, it only snows like once a year if you're lucky. It's not a very cold place. The weather is quite mild, actually. So when it snows, it's like a big deal. The whole city shuts down because people don't know how to drive in snow. People don't know how to get around. So it's kind of... Oh, there's another cave here. It's kind of nice, actually, when it snows because you can stay at home. Is this a dog? Oh, poor thing, you're at one heart. But I will leave you down there so that I can tame you later. Okay, so this is my hole. And we'll close the door. <laughs> Very secure. Okay, we have some osmium. We have some iron. How to make steel. Steel, this is the Ad Astra version. You just use the blast, blast furnace to make it. Whereas the Mechansim one, you have to use the... You have to make steel dust. Which... 
You use the infuser, put some iron in it. Oh, you need to make enrich iron. Wow. Enrich iron plus some sort of charcoal or whatever. So you need two charcoal. Wow, that's expensive. Wait, what was I gonna do? I was gonna make more of that. Uh oh. I don't even have a... I don't even have a charcoal to get this started. Okay, I'll just do this. There we go. Now we can have some charcoal and let's make a blast furnace. That's what we need. Okay, smooth stone, furnace, iron. Pretty simple. Which means we have to smelt. Smelt this twice, right? I think. Might as well go chop some trees while waiting for this. This is getting annoying, <laughs> my doorway. Is it nighttime already? Or it's just raining? Don't know. Each cherry tree actually gives quite a bit. Like, the amount of wood on each tree. Oh, almost fell in there. It's actually pretty impressive. Okay, I have to be really careful there. Yeah, and all the branches are like just barely within arm's reach, so that's nice. Oh, maybe I should look into also like the industrial foregoing machines, about the tree chopper especially. That would make life so much easier with the automatic tree chopping, like a whole tree farm. That's one of my favorite things to do. It's satisfying too. Okay, after this is done, I need to smelt this one more time, I think. I don't think I need raw stone for anything just yet. So I'll put this in. So that we can make our blast furnace with some iron. An extra furnace. Never hurts to have more furnaces because for some reason, recipes always demand furnaces for some reason. Okay. Alright. There we go. Got my smooth stone. And this. And this. We have a blast furnace. Oh, we only have two iron. How much do we need? I assume we need much more than that. Oh, I'm out of iron. Hmm. I don't want to go down to the mines again, though. How much steel do we need to make the... What was it that we need to make? The enrichment chamber. I can already see two iron right here. And we need the steel casing. We need four steel. Okay. And then we need osmium ingots with redstone. So I might as well make a couple of those first. Ooh. Oh, it turns into liquid. Cool. So I shift click this in. Not enough energy to operate. Okay. Here you go. <laughs> Is that enough? Ooh, wow. That requires a lot of energy. I'm gonna collect all the charcoal we have, come on. Is this enough? And the energy is all gone. And it didn't even do one. Wow, okay. That's how the mod is, I see. Let's make more charcoal. And we're going to need to go down to the mines again. Unfortunately. Ah, not my favorite thing to do, but... That's how modded goes. You always have to go mining for more stuff. Alright, 
make more pickaxes just in case. More sticks and more pickaxes. There. That should be enough, and I think it's nighttime currently, is it? Oh, it's still daytime. See if there are any sticks left on the ground. Wow. A lot of a lot of trash everywhere. Alright. That's fine. The sticks are actually pretty useful, so I I like to collect them. Down we go, close the door and block the hole up. And then let's go let's go down again. We're gonna need more charcoal to make torches. Cause I think did I run out or did I just put it in here? I think I ran out. Well, good timing then. Okay. Ooh! Look what I found. Is that what I think it is? Is that uranium? And that is Oh, diamonds! Yeah! Okay. Didn't expect to find it on like my first session. First episode. But I'm always happy for diamonds. And then, of course, we're gonna dig more. Yeah, we almost missed this piece if we didn't dig around. So that's three. At least three. Enough for a diamond pickaxe. But maybe diamonds will have more important uses. Other than a diamond pickaxe, maybe we can make like a diamond drill or something like that. That can mine better. Let's see actually. Is there like a drill that we can use? Infinity drill. Oh, this is industrial foregoing. Okay. <laughs> maybe I can't afford that. What do you think? <laughs> Okay, we only have vein mining unit. Allows for quick mining. Blah, 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 blah. Mecha tool. Oh, this looks expensive. Oh, tooltip error. What happened? Okay, I have to fix the mod. That's what it is. Actually. I will fix it with the 4.0 update. Yeah. So I haven't talked much about the Minecraft Transit Railway mod right now because I'm just playing Survival Minecraft. But please go ahead and check out the 4.0 playlist so that you can see what is upcoming with the mod. Lots of exciting new features. I know everyone has, has been excited about it, which makes me excited about it too. And I'm happy to continue coding with all of your support. But meanwhile, I am also having a good time playing survival as a break from coding as well. Because coding all day can really make you tired. Especially with work. Like, I don't always work on the mod because I do have a full-time job. Wow, today at work was pretty stressful because I made some changes to the code. And I was trying to deploy it to where we we're supposed to deploy the code in pre-production. And I forgot that we had a demo later in the afternoon. So my architect, our architect on our team, he was like, everyone remember, don't mess anything up for the demo today. But here I am deploying stuff. And I was like, oh no, I forgot about the demo. And because deploying usually takes quite a while, you have to run all the tests and sync all the files and stuff like that. So I was really stressed up till lunchtime. I was like working to like get everything ready for the demo, make sure I didn't break anything. That's the hardest part. And I had some code failures and like build failures and stuff. So I was super stressed, but by the time the demo rolled, over rolled around, everything was fine. So I was like, Wow, that was too close, too close for comfort. Next time, I'm not doing that right before a demo again. To be fair, I'm like the lowest level developer on the team. 
Everyone's like developer three and senior developer. I'm only level one, but I'm learning a lot on the job, which also translates over to mod development for Minecraft. So I'm constantly improving the code with things I've learned. I was thinking maybe if I can convert the mod to use frameworks like Spring, Spring Boot, because that has database support, that has Kafka plugins and stuff. So if I made the mod use Kafka instead of using my custom like JSON payloads and sockets, maybe that would make it easier to code. I don't know, but I also have a lot of headaches with Kafka and stuff. And Spring. Spring is really hard to debug for some reason. The stack traces are sometimes not very useful. You can't jump to a specific line of code. But yeah, anyway, enough enough coding talk. I just had a pretty stressful day at work today, and I'm trying to relax by playing Minecraft, but it's also really late, and I should go to bed soon. <laughs> okay, let me keep mining, and hopefully I can find more iron. Wow, instead of finding iron, look what I found. Oh, a cave as well. This is like a really good level to find a cave. And it's also the start of the cave, so it's... I won't get lost. More uranium. Oh, that's a skeleton. See, hitboxes are good to turn on because of this. Oh, there's multiple skeletons. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Come on. Come here. Come here. All right. Should I heal up? I, I saw there was another one. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm at two hearts. Two hearts. Two hearts. Okay. Let's eat up, eat up. Okay. I'm going to dig this diamond first. Before I forget. Because you don't want to pass on these kind of opportunities. I really want to make that infinite miner thing. That seems really cool. But that's also really expensive. So maybe when we make more machines and stuff, we'll have enough resources to maybe even generate diamond. I wonder what that'd be like. And don't forget, we're also here to build trains as well. We're not just playing modded survival for the sake of it. I'm also planning to build a whole railway out of it. Just saying that, it's like a huge ambition, ambitious goal. So I don't know how much I'm actually gonna achieve that, but we'll try. We'll try our best. And I know survival railways will probably not be as grand as like the Let's Play, because you literally have world edit at your disposal. So yeah. Maybe some simple stations transporting me to some good biomes. That would be good enough for me. Because you have to craft everything. Although, the Minecraft Transit Railway mod just makes it really easy to make stuff because the... Oh, more diamonds and more skeletons and I'm running away. Minecraft Transit Railway just makes it so easy to build rails and trains because you don't actually need to craft them. Oh, no. Alright, killed three skeletons in this cave. I hope everyone watching is proud of me. Because I don't have any armor and stuff at all. So, as usual, I'm putting the torches on the right walls. And if I need to light up the left side as well, I'm just placing them down on the ground. So I know in deep Y levels like this, you're not gonna find much iron, but there are big iron veins. Meaning that if you do find iron, they're gonna be in big, like, you're gonna find a lot of them at once. Which is good if we do find iron, but it's not good if we don't find any, of course. So here is some more osmium. Apparently, osmium is needed for everything, so might as well collect more. You always need more. Oh, is that? No, that's gold, I think. 
I keep pressing C because I used to have a Zoom mod. Well, Optifine was the first one, but after everyone migrated from Optifine, there's also other Zoom mods that you can add, which when you press C, it will zoom. But I don't have that mod installed, but out of habit, I'm just pressing C to try to see stuff. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> okay, I'm out of torches. Hmm. And no iron, though. Oh, this is iron. Nice. Well, so much for big veins. I hope there's more behind this. I'm going to be so disappointed. Come on, please. Give me more iron. Sometimes I wonder if the custom generations of like modded ores will affect vanilla ore generation. I don't think it's supposed to, but it feels like it. I remember when playing Tech Hit and stuff, there would be ores everywhere you go. Okay, no more iron. Sad. I've been finding more diamonds than iron, which is saying something. Oh, there's gold underneath, which means this iron vein might have been cut short. Ah. Actually, gold's not bad either. I shouldn't be complaining. Gold is useful for other stuff. Oh! <laughs> the other half of that diamond vein. Cool. Wow, I'm getting really lucky with mining today, except for iron, which is what we need. I wasted five iron making that blast furnace. But I guess if we did it the mechanism method, that would have taken more. Okay, so I need... I need some charcoal to make torches, but I don't have any, so may maybe I should just go back. Well, I got one iron. Can't get anywhere with that, though. But I got eight diamonds, wow. Eight diamonds in a trip. I've got 12 stairs, which is not enough to go up, so I'll just go up by jumping first, and then I'll craft more stairs when I get to the top. Okay, I do have more charcoal in that furnace, which is good. Uh, I should probably leave a couple just for future smelting and put my precious diamonds away before I lose them from like some creeper or lava or whatever. So I have one iron, some uranium. What's that used for? Uranium block. Hmm, I don't know. Hmm, interesting. I don't know. Okay, we'll just have to keep playing to find out. Okay, for now, let me grab more torches. And I really hope we can find more iron because that is very important. Actually, yeah. Now's probably a good time to check the generation graph. If you didn't know already, Minecraft Wiki migrated from the fandom website, and now it's using Minecraft.wiki. So if you haven't updated your bookmarks, I highly encourage you to do so because I really don't like fandom, and I'm sure a lot of people don't either. Okay, so this is the official diagram from the, I guess not official, but like the diagram on the wiki. And iron is best found at Y16, so I'm gonna kind of dig around that area. That's what I usually do as well, anyway. So, hmm. let's get back down to the mine, and we'll stop at Y16. Can't believe how deep this is, this all is actually. Okay, six, seven. So this is... 16. Targeted block 16. So I'm just gonna dig like this. Go strip mining a little bit. Wow, coal. You don't see coal very deep anymore. And copper. We haven't had to use much copper yet. We only use like two. 
Oh, before I forget, I like to make these like channels. So that when I dig back the other direction when coming back, then I can know that this is where I'm supposed to come in from. It's just some like Minecraft like, I don't know, conventions that I've been using or like life hacks, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep digging to see what I get. This is not very interesting, is it? Just digging in a straight line. And that's all stone and nothing to see. Some more copper, but still, still no signs of iron. It's supposed to be like really common, like the most common at this level. Don't know what's going on. I just hope we get some soon. Because uh, we need to make our machines. I don't want to go too far either. Maybe the next ore that I see, I'm going to stop and turn around. How about that? You never know. Like, you always think to yourself, like, what if I go a little bit more and there's more? And then you just go a little bit more, just hoping just behind this one stone block, there's more iron or more other ores. But there isn't, and then I keep digging and digging. Ah, the joys of modern Minecraft. You just really need to get started. Once you get in a roll, then it's really fun. But before you've got all your machines started up, basically the first, the first few like Minecraft days or like the first couple of weeks in Minecraft. Oh, some gold as well and some fluorite. It's basically all just grinding for stuff right at the very beginning. And once you get yourself started, then it's much better. Oh, I just remembered about that that poor dog stuck in the cave. I do have more bones now, because I killed the some skeletons. So maybe I can tame the dog. I don't know. Wow, that's a single gold, really? Okay. Okay, okay, it's time to turn back, so... I'll usually dig about a three block gap like this and then go back this way. It's just like, I guess statistically you would basically cover almost all your tracks if you do this. More tin, always good. Don't know how useful tin actually is compared to osmium and copper, but of course we haven't played enough into the game to know what recipes there are and what's like commonly used come on I just want iron why is this so hard okay osmium that's good I wonder why they chose osmium as like the ore that's like the necessary one why not like tin and copper or even iron everyone uses iron in their tech mods I don't know Oh, I'm looking at the subtitles. I see skeleton rattles. A little bit concerned, but I don't know if I'm near a cave or not. Is lapis even useful? I know in Galacticraft, lapis is used for making solar panels. I don't know why, maybe just because it's blue. Okay, I'm not going to bother digging around a bit more. I just want iron. Another pickaxe broken. Please, iron. I want at least some iron by the time I get back to where we started. So I don't need to dig even more back and forth. Is it true that ores spawn a certain number per chunk? So I should be theoretically digging in the same chunk to find the most ores. Is that true? I actually don't know that. Because I've just been digging in straight lines. So I don't know if that's the most efficient method to find ores. Let me know in the comments because I don't want to bother reading the wiki right now. I just want to get the machine. <gasps> Look! I dug out a bunch of tin and iron. Let's go. 
We came and we found what we were looking for. Nice. That's not too much though, but can't complain. Better than zero, right? Any more behind these blocks? Nope, doesn't look like it. Okay. Tin. I've been skipping out on the copper because I've just been too lazy to mine it. It's okay, I guess, right? We can always come back down and get more. And besides, we have like a couple stacks already at home. Okay, I'm just gonna go back like this. Too lazy to continue digging that way. Okay, might as well grab it while we're here. I've convinced myself. And this coal vein I've also ignored. Close enough to the entrance that we can come back anytime. Alright, now is time for some smelting. Wow, we just have enough. I think we have eight. How many ingots? Two ingots. What was that we have to make? Energetic something? No, not the smelter. Enrichment chamber, okay. Enrichment chamber. Two iron, basic control circuit. Oh, we need more electricity, that's what we needed. Let me dump all my charcoal in. Come on, please. There we go. Tricking a rock into thinking. <laughs> that's funny. Okay, this one is not gonna go. Oh no! Okay, I need more wood or else I wouldn't have enough charcoal to smelt it. And it's night time. I don't want to chop wood at night. Ah, maybe I shouldn't have smelted or like put the charcoal in so quickly. And I don't want to use my coal because I feel like there will be other recipes that require it. Unless there's an easy way to convert coal into charcoal, which I don't think there is. Okay, how many pieces of steel do we need? Four. Four steel, but we also don't have... I need this to smelt the wood. Should I just risk it? Just run out and chop wood quickly? I'm gonna do it. Wish me luck. Oh. Ah, baby zombie. I hate baby zombies. Oh, it didn't see me. Wow. Oh. oh. Zombies have so much health now, and they have, like, armor points too. Are you seeing this? I remember... Back in like 1.2.5, wow that's scary, back in 1.2.5 zombies like were so slow and there are no baby zombies and yeah they were just like less dangerous in general and they won't call their friends, I guess that's the most annoying part of zombies as well other than baby zombies. The second most annoying part of it was that they, they would call their friends and those that are out of range at first, they'll still come and chase you if their friends see you and they chase you. Yeah, anyway. I keep mining the leaves with my axe. It's kind of annoying. It's wasting my durability. I think it takes up durability, right? If I break leaves with an axe. All right. That is, there's some more wood here, but okay, let's just do it. Is that all? I think that's all. Okay, let's get out of here. This is way too risky. And 27, that's plenty. I should be killing spiders so that I can make a bed. Yeah, why not? Why not? I don't think I got string from that first spider I killed. 
Ah, no string. What are these odds? I also have one last fish left, I think. So I'm gonna need to go fishing pretty soon. Not like fishing with a fishing rod, but just going into the water and hitting fish. There we go, one string. And I need 12. <laughs> 12 string to make a bed. Can you imagine sleeping on the piece? pieces of string. Okay, safe and sound back at home. Sometimes when I play modded, I'm like too lazy to even make a proper house like this or like even a shelter. So I'm just out in the open with my crafting table and my machines. But creeper explosions are off though, so. Okay, come on. I should really go to sleep. It's like really late. I'm not gonna tell you what time it is, but you can probably see from the... You can probably see when I look at the wiki, you can see the time on my desktop. Okay, steel. Oh, we need glass. Ugh, I have to go out again. Hmm. This has like no energy. I think we need to get to eight. I'm not sure. It's like all of them need a full bar or something. Dump. You know, there's actually a way to make sand out of cobblestone in modded Minecraft. But I don't think we have the right machines to do that, of course. Okay, I think it's worth it to make a trip to the water right now so that we can grab some sand. Oh, it's daytime, nice. Grab some sand and also some fish as well because I have no more food. And I see some scary mobs which I'm going to avoid. I have too many of those saplings, so I'm not going to bother grabbing any. And after I make that machine that I'm working really hard for, I'm going to go to bed and end the episode. And I feel like once we get started, like after this episode, I can make like shorter episodes as well as do more stuff in the episode. So thanks everyone for bearing with me with this episode. I know it's been just a lot of mining and collecting stuff, but that's that's usually how it is with modded Minecraft. You really need like a lot of stuff to get started. Oh, they always like jump around the fish. It's hard to predict where they're gonna go. Come on. Ah. Uh. And you can't click too fast as well, because in the new Minecraft sword fighting mechanics, swords have like a cooldown. Okay, I got five so far. I need three more. So if this fish doesn't run away, six. Any more? down here. Seven. Cool. And eight. Nice. And now I need sand. That's what we came for. Looks like there's no sand except under here. So I need at least eight. Just because it's nicer to smelt. That's usually how I do it. I don't have a shovel, I should have brought one, but it's okay. This is not that slow. It's okay if I have more than eight, I guess. I want to dig this pile out. I'm all about keeping the terrain nice as well. Oh, I can't reach that. Like if you're underwater and you're digging stuff, you dig slower. That's why I want to be, like, above water as much as I can. Oh, 
All right, I think I, I have enough stuff to go back. Oh, what's this salt block? And it's for Mechansim as well, right? I feel like this will be useful. That's why I'm grabbing it. Hmm. All right. Yeah, what's this used for? Okay, anyway. Doesn't seem too useful. Should I get eight more fish while I'm here? Nah, too lazy. I'll come back. I'll probably need other stuff later anyway. Okay. Alright. Back in here. I should probably get more wood as well. Oh, I got almost 16. It's okay. We'll get more later. We got more charcoal. Put a couple back here, and we'll put the rest in there. Come on, enough electricity. Please. Oh, we need redstone, that's what it is. <laughs> no wonder nothing's happening. Uh-oh, where did that go? Do we need multiple redstone? I would probably need two redstone. Let me check the recipe again. 20 MB of redstone, yeah. Alright, so we've got that, those two. Enrichment chamber, steel, osmium. We just need like one. Yep. Okay, I can make the machine frame now. Where's my steel? Where's my steel? Oh, it's in my hand. Okay. This, this, bam. And uh, just for redstone. And yes, there we go. Getting more from less. Oh, I don't want to break this because it has energy in it. Oh, well, it's just charcoal. Does it store the energy? Oh, it does. Wow, that's neat. Okay, so let me show everyone how this works before we go. At least how I think it's gonna work. So I'm gonna put my iron in and we need more trees and stuff. So give me a second while I chop some more trees down. I should probably start replanting them too or else the whole forest would just disappear and we have no more cherry blossoms. That wouldn't be nice. Uh oh, my axe ran out. Maybe this is time to go back. I'm always scared to fall in this hole. The puppy's still in there. Okay. Okay, I just made another axe and put my existing wood in the in the furnace so that I can keep keep chopping wood. Cause you don't want to big break wood by hand when you have axes. When I first started playing Minecraft, I thought to myself, what if I never made any tools? Wouldn't that just save so much more resources? But no, sometimes time is important. The time savings is important. Any more wood behind this? Sometimes I can't tell. I don't think there is any more wood back there. Wow. Okay, plenty of wood. Let's go. I'm really excited to show you how that works. Only if I can figure it out though. Okay, got 18, which is good enough for a couple more stacks. Let me get this thing started. So, is this going? Does it even take raw iron? I'll be disappointed if it doesn't. Enrichment something. Yeah, it does. Oh, you need three and it makes four dust. Okay, so it, it does multiply it. Just by a little bit though. So we need three to get four. So let me demonstrate that with 
I don't know, copper or tin as well, I can do that. But first, I just need more charcoal. I really like the lava idea where you just need lava touching to power this. So I should totally find lava so that I don't need to keep using charcoal to power this because this is really inefficient. It's basically free energy because you don't need to keep feeding it. The lava source will just keep powering it forever. But I haven't seen any lava yet. I'm just like throwing charcoal in the... Like, I'm just wasting charcoal right now. I feel like... Okay, I'm gonna get a bucket so that I can... Yeah, I'm just throwing charcoal down the ocean right now. Okay. Alright, I put more charcoal in and it's uh, not done yet. Come on, I just need, a, need just a little bit more. Just to show you all how this works. Okay. Oh, there we go. So three raw copper gives four copper dust. And then I can smelt this into ingots. But I'm not going to do that right now because I want to wait till I have enough. Oh, I can make my salmon too. Alright, so that's what this machine does. I'm excited to continue developing this more in the next episode. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below if you want to see something specific. And check out my other playlist because I've been showing the new 4.0 updates. Alright, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!